Good morning guys, for those of you who are new here, my name's Amanda, I'm a fourth year vet student and welcome to my neurology rotation. Okay, before I head to campus, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a recap of what this week has looked like. So this week I am on my neurology rotation. It's a one week rotation and we're basically working in the neuro department at OVC. So we're working alongside the residents and the faculty to see the neuro service patients for this week. It has been such a good rotation to start off on. I'm having a great time. I'm learning so much. The team is so supportive. And honestly, it's been a pretty chill rotation for an OVC rotation. So that's been a nice way to like introduce myself in to the OVC rotation life. Obviously, you guys would have seen that I've already done my mixed animal externship and that was a little bit crazy. The hours were a bit insane. So this has been a nice chill week and then I actually have next week off. So, you know, I can't really complain. All in all, this week has been great and I should have picked up my camera to film earlier, but I was kind of getting into a routine and trying to figure out what this week was gonna look like. So not so much a week in the life for you guys, but I thought I would bring you along for what a day in neuro looks like. Before we do that, let's go get coffee and then we'll head to campus. Hi, can I have a medium iced coffee and a bacon farmer's wrap, please? So typically how it works on a neuro rotation is if we have patients in hospital, we need to get here to do a physical exam and a TPR before we start our appointments for the day. And then we also have to do a physical and a neuro exam before we leave at the end of the day. However, this morning I don't have any inpatients, so I had time to go get a coffee, go get breakfast, and I'm gonna eat that outside and enjoy a little bit of the sunshine because our neuro room is in the back corner of the hospital and I never know what it's like outside i feel like i'm just in like a little corner of the hospital so i'm gonna try and enjoy the sunshine while i can So we just finished up with our three appointments from this morning. These were all new consults to the neurology service. So I'm actually going to insert a video of me doing a neurologic exam on link so that you guys can see what we do for all of our new patients. I'm gonna leave you guys to watch that and I'm actually gonna go have lunch with a friend and then I will catch up with you after before we start our afternoon appointments. Hey guys, so I have Link here and I'm gonna go through a whole neuro exam with you. This is the same exam that we do on all of our neuro patients at OVC before we diagnose them with anything. So I figured I would go through the whole exam with you on link so that you know exactly what we're doing for all of our patients You ready? So the most important thing with the neuro exam is that you do it the same way every single time so that you don't forget anything So basically the first thing that you want to start with is to check their overall mentation and see how they are walking around in their environment With all of our patients We'll walk them up and down a hallway a couple times to not only check out their mentation So to see if they're aware of the environment how they're interacting with people But also to check out their gait and their posture by walking them up and down the hallway We can try and isolate any gait abnormalities such as ataxia, whether it be cerebellar ataxia, vestibular ataxia, or proprioceptive ataxia, as well as lameness or weakness. Once we're done with that, we move on to test all of the cranial nerves, starting with the menace response. With this test, you're testing cranial nerve 2, cranial nerve 6, and 7, as well as the thalamus, cerebrum, and cerebellum. Next, you're checking the pupillary light reflex, and this is testing cranial nerves 2 and 3. When you shine a light into the eye, you want to make sure that the pupils are constricted. After checking our PLRs, we move on to look for nystagmus, and to do this, we turn the head from side to side and observe that both eyes move in the direction of the head movement. Then we're checking our palpebral reflexes, so we're tapping the medial and lateral canthus of the eye as well as the ear base to see if the eyelids are closing. This tests cranial nerves 5 and 7. After that, we're checking our nasal septum response as well as palpating the masticatory muscles for pain and symmetry. You also want to do an overview of the head to see if there's there's facial symmetry, a head tilt, tongue symmetry, and also a swallow reflex. Once we're done with our cranial nerves, we move on to our postural reactions. These reactions help us to tell if there's proprioceptive deficits, so you want to make sure that when you turn the dog's paws over, they right their paw to the appropriate direction. Moving on from the postural reactions, we go to our spinal reflexes. So the very first thing we want to check in the thoracic limbs is their ability to flex their feet. To test this, we pinch at the base of 
the toes and observe for flexion of the carpus, elbow, and shoulder. However, for the hind limbs, you want to do a medial toe pinch as well as a lateral toe pinch because you want to test out the femoral and the sciatic nerve. Once we're done with this, we move on to our cutaneous trunk eye reflex where you're observing for a bilateral contraction of the skin on the back. The final thing that we want to check for when we're looking at our spinal reflexes is the perineal reflex and you basically want to stroke bilaterally under the tail and observe for a tail tuck or a flinch. Now that we've looked at our spinal reflex, we move on to vertebral column pain. To do this, you're going to support the pubis and press down with rigid fingers on either side of the dorsal spinous processes. And if you get a reaction as you go along the spine, you have to try and localize the pain to be occurring in the bone, the meninges, or the nerves. Once we have completed the neurologic exam, we put all of the results together to try and localize a lesion and come up with some differentials for all of our neuro cases. Hey guys, so it is actually much later from when that last clip was filmed on my neuro rotation. I've actually been through quite a few rotations since then. Basically, fourth year is just kind of kicking my butt and I wanted to apologize for being so MIA on YouTube, but I feel like I'm finally getting back into the swing of things, of balancing like being a working student while also having to study for my Navali, while also trying to do YouTube and social media things, but I think I finally found a balance and I'm getting back into the groove of posting on YouTube, so we've got a couple videos coming up. But basically, the breakdown of what would happen on my afternoons in neuro was that we would do recheck appointments, so they weren't anything super exciting because they were already clients from the neurology service and we were just rechecking them, making sure they were staying stable or getting better, and just checking to make sure we didn't need to adjust any medication or treatments. So we typically see three rechecks in the afternoon and they were a lot quicker just because they were already existing clients. So didn't film that. And we'd normally end the day around like five o'clock. So I'd be home by like 5.36 and then I'd have dinner, take Link out for a walk and then try and get some Navali studying in because some rotations I'm learning very quickly that I just don't have time to study for my Navali. So the rotations like Neuro where I do get the chance to study are very nice. All in all, I really enjoyed my Neuro rotation. I found it was like the perfect balance of learning and then having a life outside the hospital. The entire team was like super chill and just wanted us to learn and really felt like they enjoyed having us there. And because of that, I just really enjoyed being there and I have nothing but good things to say about my neuro rotation. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I learned a ton. I realized how much neuro I didn't learn in the past three years. And I feel like this rotation just like cleared up a bunch of questions that I had about neuro. So I'm feeling pretty good going into my Navali on the neuro content. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on a day in the life of my neurology rotation. Like I said, I have done a couple rotations since then and those videos will be out in the coming weeks. Next week, you guys are gonna get ready to see my ophthalmology rotation, which let me tell you was a little bit more intense than this neuro rotation. So get ready for that one. Also, I am a lot more active on my Instagram. So if you haven't checked it out already, you can follow me on Instagram at student bed Amanda. And if you just wanna come along on my journey as a fourth year vet student, as I'm going through rotations, studying for my Navali, make sure you subscribe down below, like this video, and comment which rotation you are most excited to see for this year. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.